All right, let's dive into what's fresh with the Windows 11.24 EH2 update. Before we begin, heads up to all you tech enthusiasts out there. If you're not seeing the latest Windows update in your settings, don't try to force it through some workaround. Trust me, it's not worth it. I learned this the hard way. One of my PCs got the update automatically. No problem there, but on another, I had to force it. And let's just say it led to the dreaded blue screen of death. So save yourself the headache and wait until it shows up on its own. Let's begin with the desktop. Ever wished for more flexibility with your system tray? Well, now you can scroll through your available toggle buttons. Previously, you had to manually edit and place your preferred options, but Microsoft has made it more user-friendly. And speaking of the system tray, there's a new kit on the block, Energy Saver. Many laptop brands have their own take on this, but Microsoft has integrated it natively. It's essential for those of us trying to squeeze extra juice out of our batteries. Adjust it to suit your needs and thank me later. Now, let's talk File Explorer. When you right-click, the context menu isn't just a bunch of icons anymore. They've added text labels, making it super easy to find what you're looking for. If you're feeling nostalgic, you can still switch back to the old school style with Show More Options. And get this, the Compress 2 feature now supports TR, 7Z, along with the usual zip. Yep, Windows 11 now natively supports RRG, zip, 7Z, and zip files. You can open them and create archives too. Let's open a zip file. You can see that I can extract a file by moving it outside the archive to the desktop. It is also possible to put it back by just dragging. However, in the case of gzip, you can just move the file out of the archive. It is not allowing me to drag it back to the archive. Moving on to image file properties. You can now edit a whole suite of metadata right from within Windows. Everything from camera model to shutter speed and focal length is editable. It's a big upgrade from the limited title, date, and location options we had before. For the developers out there, Windows 11 has introduced a Linux-style sudo command in the Windows terminal. It simplifies elevating commands without opening a console as admin. To try it, type sudo and hit enter. But heads up, you might need to enable it under developer options in settings. Uh, that's the scoop for the average user with the 24 H2 update. Plenty of small tweaks are sprinkled throughout, and if you discover any hidden gems, drop them in the comments. And for those wondering about the Copilot Recall or AI features, unfortunately, I don't have them on my setup yet. They promise to integrate Copilot into File Explorer and Office apps, boosting productivity. But don't worry, we'll explore that together once I get my hands on it. Stay tuned.